You know what's great is before I started this up, I was just looking for some chill, low impact games to play. Oh. They fixed up that grate, I guess. Uh, I was just looking just for something relaxing to play. I didn't even want to record today. I had kind of a headache. I just wanted to relax. And now there's emotions all over the floor. It's a mess. <sighs> but hey, it's still great. Uh, pie. Oh, <laughs> please do not approach. Sorry, buddy. I just realized so there's, there's one of these in every uh, place, isn't there? There's the gate one. There's just kind of the one that chills around in uh, in the Barrens. And there's this guy. I think this is a little louder than... This is a new remix. Hello. This game does great stuff with uh, music. Hello, Barky. I'm not sure what you call that. I just call it remixes, but like... I'm not sure you'd really call that a remix. Like, it's the, the Undertale sort of thing where, you know, uh, the genocide route music, it's largely just, you know, the main stuff slowed down, and even more importantly, like, there's lots of really interesting reuses of music, and it doesn't seem like, you know, not like reuse is like a bad thing. Uh, I can't explain it very well. I'm not music man. That's right, Parker. Would you sit? Come on, work already, huh? All right, the elevator guy. Please. I think we should go talk to the guy first. Tap tap. He's not having a good day. Calm, calm yourself. Come on, come on. Now of all times. Uh, excuse me. Whoa, you're you. Ah, oh, jeez. Didn't think I was gonna run into. The elevator's missing a button, right? How did you know? <laughs> did you see his little kitty face? Um, Dad have and I'll help you fix it. Seriously? Oh, thank goodness. The evacuees are counting on this, on me. Parky! But I've been here for hours and I can't figure out a thing! Evacuees? You know, from the West Apartments. Square stuff wrecked the place yesterday. Oh. Right now everyone's crowded in the cafe. We really want everyone to get to the surface as soon as possible, though. The library on the surface doubles as a shelter for situations like this. I see. Wait, didn't we find the magnets and stuff in the apartment tap? The what? Looks like we're gonna have to find another way to fix the button. Tap tap. <gasps> oh, holy fudge! <laughs> Looks like a tap tap, and I'll have to find another way down altogether. But this is the only elevator in the area. No, it's not. We'll think of something. I guess they just leave the beds active so you can close the game without failing that one achievement. Or if you just, for some moral reason, object to uh, closing the game. I guess it's nice to leave a non, like, just click the X way to leave the game. Oh! Hello, Messiah! You, uh, came at a bad time. Apartment in the west sector got destroyed by squares a day ago. Terrible, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. At least the evacuees seem to be doing okay. We're letting them stay here for now. Oh. F Why did you bring this? Oh, it's that penguin. Hello. Ugh. Why? Yep. Through silence, so much is spoken. Same as usual, huh? Dang it! I just moved into my apartment. Now where am I gonna go? Oh, they saved the robot. Squares make the people evacuate. Evacuation makes the girl sad. Squares are bad. Flawless logic. Our apartment got evacuated while my parents were at work. I'm waiting for them to pick us up now. I hope they're okay. At least my robot's with me. Just a TV man. Hey. Hi. Is it me or is it really cold outside? You know, now that you mentioned it, it is really chilly this time around, tap tap. Good thing you've got a scarf, huh? Mm-hmm. Bummer. 
I had to leave most of my plants behind. This stinks. Sorry to hear. Well, speaking of plants, I heard the Glen is just covered in vines now. Is that true? Yeah. The plant lady was using them to keep the land from falling away. The plant spirit mace? I figured. Say, how is she doing? Ah. She's gone, isn't she? She said she was using up the last of her powers. I wouldn't be surprised. She always did her best to protect everyone. Precious cinnamon roll. Milk and sugar. I like both, but not in coffee. Huh. You, do you drink coffee? You're like 10. Or something. I don't know how old cat people be. Uh, what are you doing? Calm yourself. Don't reach across the keyboard. Parker is very needy tonight. Man, I wanted to get to bed early today. I got jury duty tomorrow. It's just the jury selection process, so it doesn't really matter if I'm tired or anything. Parky, I think you're pressing a button. There we go. Here we are at the 11th hour. Actually, it's 10 o'clock, not 11. Shouldn't you be with the other evacuees? Maybe. What if the big clock has reached zero yet? I want to be right here when everything ends. <sighs> okay, calm down. Who <laughs> took <Drive> my stapler? <laughs> Best dialogue. Best writing of any game of all time. <laughs> Who took my stapler? <laughs> I believe you have my stapler. Communications with the surface have been lost. I am unable to do anything. I guess there's one of these generators every area, too. There's lots of threads between each. It's a neat touch. It's kind of computer terminal. <laughs> Who took my stapler? <sighs> the screen is off. I just want to take a quick peek outside. The water is beautiful. So is this like a circular observation deck or something? I guess that could make some degree of sense. Or more likely the right angles just aren't shown for purposes of simplicity. Well, the door is locked. Looks like it's asking for a password. Documents. Yeah. So. This one is red. This one is green. This one is blue. So that's Baron's Refuge and Glen. This elevator won't open. Looks like it's stuck on another floor. But what's the purple one mean? I assume we need Prophet Bot, Rue, and what's his face? Cedric there? This elevator has no button panel. Tapping the button do door doesn't open it either. It usually works. Wait, there's a lever hanging from the ceiling. What the heck? Can't reach it. Reach it with the crowbar. We should find someone tall. I guess we need... Do we ever learn that guy's name? Elevator guy? I always want to call him Gary, because he reminds me of Gary from Ib. If you like this game, you might like Ib, by the way. It's, uh, it's a... It's like an RPG Maker horror game that doesn't have much, um... It's rather limited in terms of, like, jump scare sort of things. Like, like things do pop up, but, like, not, like, you know, screamers. And, uh, there's not really any combat to speak of. We found some elevators. What? Seriously? I've literally never seen another one in this area. 
That seemed like very poor city design. It was in a locked room. Oh, do they uh, work? We don't know yet. One of them has a lever that's out of my reach. Wait, you can help us. What? You should be able to reach the lever, because you're taller than me. Oh, I guess I am? A little bit, you know. Maybe by, you know, just three feet or so. So, show me the way, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Oh, we have finally have party members this whole time. I guess we've had somebody follow us. Yeah, we had the little girl follow us. I guess this is a little light fixture fixer thing on its back. It's even more somber than before, the music. Did nobody, like, think, like, hmm, what's with this giant Nixie tube room? Oh, well. Like I said, they're not the most, you know, practical people, considering the whole one elevator situation. This room gives me the creeps, man. Oh, same. Yep. So, uh, what'd you need me to help with again? Can you reach the lever up there? Oh, right. Wait. I'm not that tall. Well, it was worth a shot. Pick up Nico! Wait, I got this. Oh, he's got the thing! He was born for this. He, he trained for this day. Nice. Thank you, mister. No prop, kid. So, are you coming? Mm-hmm. Aw, oh, yes. It's time for awkward elevator ride round two. Oh, it's gonna be so awkward. Oh, no! They skipped the awkwardness! Oh, and we're right up near the tower. Oh, neat. Well, looks like this elevator works all right. I'll uh, go get the evacuees, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Um, what is going on? Oh no! No. It's the square stuff, isn't it? There aren't any in here, but I can hear them just outside the door. Yeah, hold on. Maybe tap tap and I can. No, no, it's okay. Looks like the squares aren't inside the elevator yet. You're in a hurry, right? Go do what you need to do. What about you? I'll figure something out. Okay. You okay in there? Mostly. Look, don't worry about me for now, right? You got more important stuff to deal with. This door won't budge. Oh, right, that's the... Yeah, it's the locked one. I wonder if you could go... All right, no, you need the three things. I always think that when I see the tower. But nah, you need the three bits of phosphor, which we only got. We only have one. Well, let's see if this elevator works. Hey. Wait, can we save Gary? Oh, fuck. Square's here now, too. Maybe we can get them to evacuate. Hold on. Crap. I keep calling him Gary without even like realizing it. He just he just looks like Gary. I don't know why I did this. I bet we can't actually bring them down. It's just, you know, progress the story, but worth a shot, I guess. I'm ticked that we couldn't get the frickin'. We couldn't get the seed for maize. These people won't starve here. Perks of being a cafe is emergency shelter, huh? The elevator! Can I get you anything to eat? No, thank you. Even though I could go through some pancakes right now. It just isn't time. The elevator, dude! You're free! Bessie's looking boned about this, too. There, there, girl. I don't know what I'm gonna do with models QT, second gen 4E. Scarves are great. If I had my stuff back, I'd knit one for everyone here. It's really a shame that Glenn is starting to erode so fast now. Soon the world won't have soon the world won't have much room for plants left. Aside from black clovers, I mean. Yeah, those do seem to black clovers are so resilient. I wonder how they do it. There must be some edit that Yeah, there's a lot of unusual things about this world, and they make a lot more sense now that we know that. You know, the phosphor thing was probably built in by the author. I guess the author really liked black clovers.
Well, we can get back up here. Which makes sense because we need to bring Rue up here. And the other three. At least I'm assuming that's how that works. Looks like a big lock screen on a phone. Makes me want to just like swipe up on it or something. But I'm not sure phones really do exactly that anymore. I just got a fingerprint sensor. Though my phone is dead. It it managed to die just out of warranty. And they told me it was in warranty because of the there's a 15 month warranty from the or the 13, yeah, 15 months from the creation date, and they said my thing was under warranty, but it was not. I was very upset, but whatever. Please, you mustn't. The labs could collapse any moment now. Let go of me! Uh-oh. Cedric? He... I couldn't stop him. Miss? Messiah! Oh, you came in at an awful time. Come on, we have to get out of here. Where to? Where everyone else is right now. Library, I guess. <laughs> at least the book club's still active. Miss Silverpoint, you've returned. So what? <laughs> the author really needs to explain why the refuge specifically has object head people. Oh, hey! She's number one now. Miss Silverpoint, you've arrived. Ah, George sees that you've found the Messiah. Why is she called George, anyway? Yeah. Ran into each other after this boy forced himself into the lab complex. I couldn't stop him. Don't know why I was being so insistent. He said he needs to rebuild a robot. Oh, you know him? Yeah. Aha! Building a robot! So that's what he needed that book for. Come again? Boy with white hair and goggles ran in here not long ago. That's Cedric, yeah. He grabbed one of the books from my very impressive archives <laughs> downstairs and bolted straight out. He said it was an emergency, so he let George so George let it slide. George hopes he's okay. So this is like ostentatious, George. Yeah, I hope he's alright too. With any luck, the lab complex can hold up long enough for him to Oh my gosh. It that was the labs? That poor kid. No. Not him too. I'm sorry about your friend. Last time we spoke, he told me to look for someone on the surface. I, I need to get going. George won't let you go out there. The Messiah will not walk into any danger on my watch. But George is right. The squares seem to be targeting a lot of the weaker constructs in the city. Only the library has enough structural integrity to withstand collapse. It's best if you stayed here until things stabilize. I don't have time, dude. However long that takes. But, but, what about my mission? Did you guys want me to bring the sun back at least? Even if you restore the sun, the squares will persist. Sadly, not to mention, even getting there is going to be hard. A world like this. There's no telling what's going on in the tower. If something's happened to the Messiah, of all people. George doesn't want to think about it. A friend of mine said something about this forever ago. It's better for the world to die naturally. Yep, that's silver, all right. No living being should carry that burden. At the time, I thought it was still our faulty code speaking. But now I'm starting to understand. Messiah, I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. All this time we burdened you with our hope, our faith. Blissfully ignoring the fact that you're just a lost child. You, you didn't know I was a lost child until like two minutes ago. Well, probably more scared than any of us, aren't you? We've been dealing with tragedy for so long, it's become background noise to us now. But for you, it must be so terrifying. Now you're stuck here with the rest of us. Being held back by the very people you were told to save. You must seem so ungrateful. It's... okay. I... When I first came to this world a long time ago, back then all I wanted was to go home. Tap tap, do you remember? 
the very first time. I'm not sure how far back it was for you, but I remember towards the end, I actually wasn't sure anymore about going home. Even knowing this world would be doomed eventually, I still want the people here to be happy. What are you doing, Barky? You're in the way. What are you doing? So, when you- Barky! Yes! Would you sit down? We are having a moment! <clears throat> it's when you told me to return the sun, back then. I didn't even question it. But then I just came back. You- What? I- I went through that decision again, didn't I? But I came back again. Even though you were able to do both, the effects couldn't be permanent, could it? And then... I found out about the world being like this. <sighs> Prototype said to forget the things he told me. Cedric told me not to think about it too much, but... I... I'm sorry for getting upset at you back at the mines. I thought... For you to know all that, you continue doing this. It just seemed cruel. But then I realized something. You really wanted to save both the world and me. But at the end, you can only choose one, right? Is it really hard for you two? It must be. If the world isn't broken, will that choice be still be there? Do you still need to choose between one or the other? But even if it is, I really want to save this world tapped out. Even if it's more dangerous this time around. Even if so many of the nice people we met were... were... tapped out. I'm not afraid anymore. That's why. I think you guys should let me go. I promise I'll be okay. Please? George deserved your conversation with Tap Tap and is deeply moved. That's why George has full faith in you. Well, if George is fine with it, I guess we should let you go now, Messiah. But promise us you'll be careful, okay? Mm hmm. You guys be safe, too. Well, next time, it's time to save the world. See you later. Music seems a little bit more hopeful this time around.